love everything you do when you call me dumb little stupid should I do learn the back with you fully undressed no training will left for you hi my favorite people as you can tell we are now in another location you saw me at my aunt's house and now you're seeing me in the wild west of Vermont we are here on a snowboarding trip but still I wanted to give you the contents per usual it seems like whenever I try to live my life y'all are in my dms blowing me up telling me I'm missing something. And that was no different last night. Apparently, Melly Martinez did like a Q&A and she answered a lot of questions that the fandom was having about the trilogy tour, um, the continuation of the Portals era, continuation of the Crybaby story, and just a whole bunch of stuff was answered. Real quick, I'm getting sick, so that's why I kind of sound nasally and congested. Um, I want to give you a quick tour of my bedroom because as you know, I vlog all this stuff, tax write-off. So if you want to see the vlog for this whole thing, um, look forward to that on Paper Vlogs. That's the art, two beds cool, cousin cool. Wanna say hi, Daniel? Hola. Let me know if you want me to show them Melly Martinez, cause he actually listened to her like back in the day, but he doesn't know her new stuff. So um, we can do that. Bathroom's over there. It's a whole room. I went uh, ice skating at Rockefeller Center. I went, I'm going snowboarding today. We watched the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade and I vlogged it all. So that video will be out soon on Favor of Vlogs. Go subscribe. But again, today is about Miss Melanie Martinez. What is she doing? What is she saying? What does she tell us? Let's find out. Subscribe if you're new here if you have not yet. Cause you guys know at this point, I'm like the Melanie Martinez connoisseur. Who else do you know that would be on vacation all the way in Vermont, bitch? about to go snowboarding but still making you content about your favorite artist who name them down below nobody and besides favorite reacts who nobody so yeah subscribe like the video so i know you want me to keep doing more content like this y'all are just perched up on a little window seal and that's what it is i'm sorry um but anyways let's get into the story here we go follow the instagram too if you already follow me on instagram i love you and if you're the one dming me telling me favor what's dropping like what's happening to keep me updated i appreciate you but yeah, here we go now into the story of Melanie Martinez. So obviously I'm on her Instagram page. She goes by she, they, the one and only living deceased. Love that. Let's get into the story. What the fuck? She says, ask me questions. Cool. Why are you such a bad bitch? Love you. What the? There you go. Okay, next, advice to new artists. Make art you wanna make regardless if people love it or hate it, amen. I was so embarrassed whenever I first started the channel and now I don't give a fuck. <laughs> Never think about numbers, success, or opinions. That is very hard to do. Uh, be patient with yourself, take as long as you need. Could be literally years, it doesn't matter. Very true. I didn't hit 100K until like three years in. So that's true, I love Mel. Uh, music artists, you do not need a label. You just need to build a community that appreciates what you create. Felt that because didn't she start off on The Voice? Like, Melanie Martinez today was not always the Melanie Martinez of today. You know what I mean? So she just kept at it and was like, the fans found her because she's that talented, she's that good, and they saw something in her. So I love that advice. How do you feel about your fans? Do they ever get too intense for you? Qualities I love, creativity, passion, empathy, understanding. Qualities I dislike, entitlement, impatience. Childishness, obsessiveness, oh Lord. That's kind of the entire qualities of standing. Oh no, do I need to do some reflection? I think the reason so many people are super intense and have this sense of unrealistic expectation and entitlement to me as a being and an artist is because they are so young, true. How old are you, by the way? I'm like turning 25 in a couple days. How old are you in the fandom? Comment down below, let me know. Majority of people who participated in my last poll are 13 to 17 years old. Oh, not Melanie Martinez calling me old. Hello. Hi. Um, another cousin. That's uh, Michael. How are you doing with all of the touring? I actually love it. I used to have a tough time touring because I'm such a homebody. Felt that. But I think having my partner and incredible. Oh, Melanie has a partner. And an incredible team of creators around me every night is what is getting me through the general exhaustion. For me, it's like, cause you guys know this is the year that I started going to concerts and shows. And like, obviously I wanna see my things, but I don't want them to like overwork themselves. Like Taylor Swift, 
I feel like she is she's chasing that billionaire status in fact I think she's already reached it but like at what cost I don't want her to overwork herself I don't want Melanie to overwork herself like obviously it's cool to see them in concert but I want them to also take care of themselves physically and mentally you know but anyways, if they put on a show, I'm still gonna buy those tickets, babe. Almost, Tanner's actually going twice to the Trilogy Tour. Is there an elephant among us? Anyways, next uh, thingy. Are you gonna bring the Trilogy Tour to your, ooh, shout out to the European stands. Yes, Melanie's going to Europe. Love that for you guys. Um, do you ever get embarrassed when you make a mistake on stage? No. I've been performing for years and the thing I'm most proud of is that I no longer care if I mess up. Love that for her. I'm a human, I forget the same exact line of lyrics and void. See, but the thing is, she's such a professional, you don't even realize. Because never would I have guessed that like there's any point where she messes up or forgets a line. Like, I feel like there's great ways to hide it too. Like, if you don't remember the line, just tell the fans, sing it, and hold the mic up. And at that point, they just think it's like crowd interaction, but really you just don't know your lyrics. I love that though. I feel like that's more camp, you know? Okay, are you going to do a concert without the- Ooh! The question of the hour, the one we've been wondering. Are you going to do a concert without the mask? I love the mask to death, by the way, just asking. Yeah, for the trilogy tour, I'll have it off for the first two albums during the show. And we rejoice. <laughs> we rejoice. Oh, were you trying to pick me up? I was just going to No, I was just going, yeah, that's what I was going to do. I was going to go like this. Oh, you, you know, calling you me kind short? Of a midget, yeah. ah! You're kind of a midget, so it's a little hard. LB. LB. Damn. LB. What's LB? Little bro. Oh, you fixed it? Yeah. It just needs to be like more firmly. Yeah, but just be careful with it because it is sensitive. I'm very well, sensitive. I got one thing. They broke the door in our hotel, by the way. <laughs> that you snitching on us already, bro. <coughs> okay, let's get back to... So yeah, Melanie just basically confirmed she will not be wearing that four-eyed freaking mask for Crybaby era and K-12 era. Love that. Um, I, I really... I've never seen her live without the mask on. I've only been to the Portals concert, and now I'm like, I'm excited to see her face. Okay, so yeah, that's confirmed. Love that. So happy. Bro. I know you said you are focusing on MVs because of money. Do you still feel the film will happen? This is another one I was wondering. I thought you said she confirmed it's not happening. With K-12, I had the music videos and film together as one thing. But for Portals, I wrote a separate script for a film and separate music videos. And because it is way too expensive to defund both, I'm just focusing on music videos to match the amount of visuals I've had for the other two albums. I don't think I'll magically have the funding to make the movie. Yeah, so from her comments from the previous post, I was like, I don't think we're getting a movie. We're just gonna get a music video for every single song. Which, hey, she said she doesn't like entitlement. I will be happy with any crop dust um, specimen that she wants to give us. I'll be happy to it. So if we don't get a movie, I'm sad, but obviously like, if there's no funding, there's no funding. If we get a music video for every song, I feel like that's more than enough too. So that's okay. I just love that she's giving us content. Also, Mel, do you find time to do personal stuff when you're doing work all the time? I don't really have time for me while I'm working and touring this much. Aw. That's why I take years in between each album. It gives me time to gain new... <laughs> Yo, Dad, you're a... Whoa, that's crazy. You just set up favor, bro. <laughs> that shit was loud as I'm not editing that out. That's wild. All right, guys. As you can see, I am literally on vacation. We're getting ready to go snowboarding. Life is happening. Let's get through these. Um, free Palestine, we love that. Yes, free, 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 free Palestine. From the land to the sea, Palestine will be free, period. Um, what else is she saying? Will there be more tours in the next couple of years? Probably gonna just tour until fall of next year, then take a break from releasing you. She's pulling a Rihanna. I really wanna make clothes, jewelry, pottery, and just live life for a while. I respect that, but I'm also so sad because Rihanna said the same thing and bitch, it's been like 10 years <laughs> and we haven't got a new album. Will you post your set list for the trilogy tour? Haven't fully decided on the set list yet. Ooh, let me know which songs from each album you guys want to hear. Honestly, should we do like a, a whenever I get back from vacation, we'll do like a, we've done an album ranking. Now we need to do the track list rankings from all three um, eras because I have faves and I also have some that should just like cease to exist. You may be surprised. 
They, you hear that stomping? Yeah. They did that till 2 a.m. Yeah, I know, all night. I called the freaking front desk, and then I guess they called them, and they just started stomping even more. Damn. Yeah. Yeah, I heard that shit all night. Anyways, um, will you post your set list? She said uh, she has not decided yet. Okay, and then she starts talking about Palestine. Again, free Palestine. There we go. So yeah, guys, Melanie, we just found out, will be taking that mask off for the first two eras, which are Crybaby and K-12. And then she will not be releasing a movie. She plans to tour um, throughout fall of next year. But then she's gonna take like a little hiatus, which will be starving for content. That's another thing. People keep asking me to react to unreleased music. I don't wanna do that anymore because I feel like it's just very disrespectful. Are they wrestling or something? Is this like a sumo wrestler resort? Shot, bro. Anyways, guys, I want to finish getting ready and enjoy my vacation. It was nice checking in with you. Make sure you follow the Instagram for daily updates and my vlog channel if you want to see all the fun that we have. Any closing thoughts, um, Daniel, Michael? All I know is we're going to be lit. Yeah. Okay.